by Van Elaine Terrazola. Senator Richard Gordon said he is giving ex-President Benigno Aquino the benefit of the doubt despite his haphazard release of the P3.5 billion for the purchase of Denvaxia. Senator Richard Gordon, Jansen Romero slash file Manila Bulletin. Gordon, chair of the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee which leads the joint investigation on the beleaguered government Dengue immunization program, today said he understands that the former chief executive may not have been informed about the risks of the anti-Dengue vaccine or the track record of its manufacturer Sanofi Pasteur. The president was not informed that Sanofi had a record and they were putting the president in a very embarrassing position, Gordon said. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt because, you know, the president is exposed to so many things and he needs people around him who should be advising him properly and telling him that he's leaving with multi-billion peso price tags, that he should have been more careful, he told reporters. The senator was instead blaming Aquino's advisors, referring to former cabinet members, budget and management secretary Florencio Abbott and health secretary Jeanette Guerin, whom, he said, should have protected the former chief executive from the mess. With respect to Seconds Abbott and Guerin, they ought to have known better. When you try to get P3.5 billion for Dengue at the last two minutes of the administration, when they're about to leave, you're going to raise a lot of attention, a lot of eyebrows will be raised. And they will try to find out whether some hanky-panky went on, he noted. I would have been more careful if I was working for the president. I would have protected him in the right way, by telling him that this is the proper way to do it, he was dealing with Sanofi and once you found out about Sanofi, they should be doubly prepared for surprises, he added. Aquino however will not be completely be taken off the hook as Gordon said he has yet to clarify his supposed negligence in the procurement and distribution of the vaccines. At the hearing yesterday, Aquino defended his decision to approve the P35 billion fund under the Special Allotment Release Order, SARO, for the purchase of Denvaxia, citing urgency of the Dengue situation in the country. He said he opted to use unutilized 2015 funds for the Denvaxia purchase to avoid difficulties in having to look for a supplemental budget when the unused allocation goes back to the National Treasury. Following the approval of the fund, the DOE launched the immunization program in April 2016, two months before Aquino's term ended. Gordon, on the other hand, still questioned Aquino's move. For the president I think it was his way of trying to show that he is going to have a legacy in health, that he was going to put out a dengue vaccine that would take care of people, but that should have been well researched, he maintained. Tags, benefit of the doubt, dengue vaccine, Gordon giving Wanoi Aquino benefit of doubt, immunization program, Jeanette Guerin, Manila Bulletin, Richard Gordon, Sanofi, Senate Blue Ribbon Committee.